Welcome back to you forever back and going another video. I'm back for another Big Brother All Star Season 7 video, as y'all can tell the title of this video. So in this video, I will be reviewing episodes 16 through 18. So uh, I found out that this is a double eviction uh, week. But as y'all remember from my last video, Erica won the HOH and I thought it was kind of unfair because I thought Howie was robbed, right? Well, as soon as the episode starts, we get a recap of the HOH and they showed all the buzzer issues. Apparently it wasn't just Howie who had the issues. Uh, I think James had issues. I think, what's his name? Um, Boogie had issues too. Like, so it was a couple people who had issues. So they thought that Erica's win was not like fair. So they redid it into a different competition. Personally, I don't think this was actually that fair either. I mean, yeah, Erica shouldn't have won in the first place, but I feel like she should have like got some type of like, like I feel like maybe they should have just did it with the people whose buzzer was affected. But I guess even if they did that, like uh, it kind of affects the whole game. It's weird. I just feel like Erica should have been safe this week. Like she shouldn't have been uh, eligible for, it. or maybe she should have got like, she should have got something like even like here's five thousand dollars because we cheated you like well we didn't cheat you but i don't know it's weird i just feel bad for erica because she was hoh and then she wasn't hoh and she was on the block possibly going home but we'll get to all that so they redid the hoh and janelle actually won i think this was her third hoh this was her third hoh that's crazy so she nominated danielle and erica everybody in the house is pretty much mad like everybody hates janelle so much except howie it's just it's crazy this is why she had now i see why she has such a big fan base but going off this week again i've been saying this since i've been reviewing this i don't see how janelle is known as one of the greatest players in big brother history because even if she keep winning like let's say okay she's about to keep winning vetoes her moves are just not good. So I'm mean, gonna just go through this. So we find out, well, we kind of already knew about the Legion of Doom, which is Erica, oh no, it's Danielle, James, and Chill Town. So that's a really good group, in my opinion. Uh, Chill Town, now I see why Dr. Will is one of the best players, though. I, I've seen more why Dr. Will is so good and has so many fans than I'm seeing what Janelle. Like, I like Janelle, she's my one of my favorites, but I just don't see like all the hype. Because this move, but I'm only going to talk about it. So, uh, Marcellus and Janelle had a confrontation. Marcellus, I feel like, only did this because Janelle was HOH. So he comes in with his orange photo. And something about Marcellus is, like, he's just so cocky and so arrogant. And just, everything he does is just, like, like I don't know. He just, like, he thinks so much of himself. Which, So he basically confronts Janelle about, like, I thought we had a final two. What happened? Like, I'm hearing all this. And Janelle's like, well, I've been hearing all this. Like, at the end of the day, she's HOH. And you didn't, you decided to talk to her when she won HOH. Like, when was all this? And you came to her cocky. So it was, it was weird. Marcella said, like, he planned on still going to the final two with her. But Marcella's talked hella sh crap about Janelle. Like, Janelle, I don't see it. I don't see her talking crap about Marcella. But maybe I'm just missing stuff. So, uh, Will. Well, I already mentioned Janelle nominated Danielle and Erica. Something else about Janelle. Uh, so, the nominations are already, well, okay, she won Danielle now. I can see that. All right, you won Danielle now. So, the nominations aren't that bad. But then, and Erica is going after her. So, I guess the nominations, initial nominations aren't that bad. But, it seems like Janelle always nominates two women. And I think James even said it. Like, she always nominates two women. Like, I don't. She really just don't get along with women that much. Like, what is her beef with Erica? I don't, I don't see where that come from. Like Danielle, yeah, she's a good player, and she wanted to get you out last week. I can see that. But uh, something I want to mention is Will. Like, I get that Will is all the girls like him, and I, I can see it. I can see why because he's a t he's tall, he's funny, he's a doctor, he's in shape. Yeah. I say he's funny. All, all the girls like him. He's got like the the dark hair and all that. I get it. But he, so the whole house is on slop and is is have nots. He took a shower in the kitchen sink. He literally was sitting on the kitchen sink, dirty. So that's his dirty body. That that's one of the nastiest things I've seen on Big Brother. That's got to be one of the nastiest things I've seen on Big Brother, because. He used the little sprayer on his, 
like gross. That, that's I don't even want to talk about, but that's nasty. And Janelle is so like loving it, and she goes near him, she's he, spraying. Like Will's childish as hell. He was 33. Will is childish as hell. I wouldn't expect this from him. But uh, let's see. Oh, oh, I forgot the um coup d'état. The uh, second clue was uh, a giant needle and string. So a couple people guessed. Blah blah blah. Uh, Howie guessed, uh, Janelle came up with something and Howie guessed it and Janelle told Howie to lie about what he guessed. So we get to the veto, uh, oh Will had a veto plan, his plan was for everybody to throw it and just let Danielle win so it doesn't expose anything, but then like, uh, they mentioned like, uh, James might get exposed by this, which he did. So the power of veto players was Marcellus, James, and Will on top of the, nominate, the nominees and Janelle as the HOH. Uh, so I like this, uh, I, I like this. Kinda, it was, so they brought people back and they had to challenge it. Whoever had the lowest time. So, a guest did something, like ate uh, a dozen sushi, right? And then however much time it took them, the other players had to guess a time. Whoever had the lowest time, or bet a time, whoever had the lowest time, they got to challenge the person, and if they beat the time, they got to eliminate another player. I kind of, I liked it. Oh, Janelle couldn't compete for this, by the way. So she told everybody to eliminate Danielle, and no one did it. Danielle won this veto by it being handed to her. It was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think Will took Will won the first one. And he took out Marcellus. James won the next one and took out Erica. And then uh, I don't remember all the rest. I think. Boogie, no, Boogie wasn't playing. Uh, was it just down to James and Will at that point? Oh, James, Will, and Danielle. And then uh, James threw it. He flat out threw it, and everyone knew it. And then uh, Will threw it too. So they both lost, Danielle won. Everyone started campaigning for Marcellus to go up, and this is where I thought Janelle is an idiot because the whole house is saying, like, what don't you understand? At least he, that's somebody who you can trust a little bit. Even a little bit. And then, like, he, she she told Marcellus, everybody want me to put you up. And she was like, he's like, if I go up, I'm going home. And she's like, oh, what if I can promise you that? You can't. You can't. Like, this show makes you yell at the TV more than any other show. I hate it. Oh, I hate it, but I love it so much at the same time. She flat out told Marcellus right to his face, all right, well, I won't put you up. And then she... Well, we'll get to it. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll get to it right now. Marcellus was the replacement nominee. He went up there and did a whole dramatic scene. Danielle and Janelle, they, they mom had a video package, and I like what they mom said. I think it was Janelle mom said it, but they should have teamed up. They would have been a really good force. Uh, then the coup d'etat, we revealed a winner. It was actually Boogie. When the third clue came out, and it was a Grim Reaper. I'm like, oh shoot, Boogie won. It's you reap what you sow, and he could use it in the next three evictions. Uh, Marcellus got evicted, 6 to 0. Uh, apparently, Janelle didn't know that it was about to be that vote. I'm surprised because Howie voted him out too. So, uh. Oh, and that's another thing. So they did confront James. I forgot to mention this at all. They confronted James, but it's like... I don't know. It was weird. It was so weird. But I think even... I think even Will like threw James under the bus. Like it's a Will. That's why I think Will and Boogie are well, Will is a really good player because he was willing to get rid of, you know, James before anybody else. And like Janelle didn't even consider putting up anybody else in the house. Like yeah, I get it. Don't put up uh, Chicken George. And Will, I don't think will actually put Janelle up. I really, really don't. So don't put up Will. Don't put up who's the other one. A uh, Howie, obviously. And James, okay, he did just do you dirty, but all right, maybe no. But you could have put up Boogie easily. Easy put up Boogie. Then Boogie would have actually used the coup d'etat that day. Or he might not have because he might have thought he had the votes. Uh, it was prom night. America voted Janelle as prom queen. Like, things like this. If I was on Big Brother and I'm seeing somebody else is being voted stuff by America, I would be like, oh, shoot, they're... America's favorite. I shouldn't be going after them. So I feel like uh, they shouldn't show like America's influence a lot. Uh, so then we see uh, the next HOH and George won the HOH and a tiebreaker was down to him and Danielle. And he actually beat Danielle. It was a double eviction. So George had to do his nominations right then and there. And I was like, oh shoot, this is about to be interesting. And I love this because he nominated James and Eric. Now, 
I thought he was close to Erica, so that kind of threw me off. But James, like, he just was like James. I, I, I'm surprised he didn't do like James and Boogie. Like, that would have been like, I'm surprised like no one's really going after Boogie like that. Like, what is so special? Like, is it just because he's connected to Dr. Will? But the double eviction didn't happen on this episode. It's in the next episode. So I'll be back with my review of episode 19. Thank y'all for watching this video. Leave it a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all fun social media. If you liked it, we can discuss it in the comments down below too if you did like it. I'm just saying. But um, let's discuss this episode inside the comments down below. That's why I'm reviewing this because I want to discuss it. My first time watching it. But catch y'all later.